Sorry about missing last week. This last couple of weeks have been insane. We just bought a house and so we were scraping popcorn ceilings, ripping down wallpaper, basically getting the house kind of freshened up so we can move in, but that's all done now. And so I definitely didn't want to miss this week because I know you were looking for me. I saw you, I saw you. Anyways, I always get this question, especially on Instagram. People are like, how do you get those really sharp and crispy images, the ones that's just, that just really pop off the screen? And I found a quick technique and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Will Simpson here, welcome back to Exploring Photography. It's always good to see you guys here every single week putting in the work. This video, I'm gonna show you how to sharpen your images super fast. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you this download, this action, so it's even faster. But first, if you love editing in Photoshop and creating really spectacular images with landscapes or even portraits, I created a free How to Replace Skies course that comes with nine epic, epic skies that I took myself, and they are incredible. The course is absolutely for free, and all you have to do is click the link in the description. You um, create an account, and there you go. You start, download the files, and enjoy. Anyways, let's get into Photoshop and show you this awesome, awesome sharpening technique. Let me note, this is going to be kind of an advanced tutorial. If you know nothing of Photoshop, you will be able to follow it and do the actions I show you because I'm gonna show you each step. But I'm not going to explain necessarily each step. Just follow along and anybody of any skill level will be able to do it, it's that easy. So here we are in Photoshop and this is the photo we're gonna work on. This photo I got from Pexels, it's a royalty free site where you can get cool uh, images and videos, whatnot. This one is by Noel Otto. So Noel, thank you for the photo. It is a beautiful photo. But if you zoom in, you will notice that it is, it is nice, but it is slightly blurry. So we're gonna fix that. So all we're gonna do is we're going to click on the background layer. We're going to make two copies. So press Command or Control J twice. So you have two copies here. Let's rename the first one Normal and let's rename the second one Vivid. Next, with Vivid layer selected, press Command or Control I. What this is gonna do is it's going to invert all the colors, so it looks like crap, but that's good. We want it to look like crap. <laughs> Next, click the blending mode here, and we're going to select Vivid Light. So scroll down here to Vivid Light and select that. Now you'll notice that it turns gray. We're getting there. The next thing we're going to do is go up to Filter, down to Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Now you'll notice, if you look at the image, if you watched my high pass video, this might look quite familiar. Now that we've blurred the image, you can see a little bit of detail. The higher the blur, the more the detail comes into play. Now we don't wanna do too much because it's just, it won't look good. We don't wanna over sharpen, it's a subtle thing. So we're gonna lower it down until we just see the edges. I think about 2.5, 2.4 looks pretty good. And we're gonna press okay. Now, since we've done this part, we need a blend mode that hides the grays and then darkens the darks and lightens the light parts. What blend mode does that? Well, if you've been following along other videos, you know that overlay blend mode does that. So select the vivid layer, press shift and select the normal layer. We're gonna press command or control G to put those layers together. Let's go ahead and rename this sharpening. And then we're going to go up to our blend mode again and we're going to select overlay. And boom, woo! Look at that, that is incredible. So what overlay does here is it hides all the gray Anything lighter than the gray, it lightens, and anything darker than the gray, it darkens. So it increases the contrast, it sharpens your image. So look at this, let's zoom in here to the eye. The reason, one of the reasons I selected this photo was simply because the eyes were really, really big, and I could really show detail here. But we also wanna look at this eyebrow too. Okay, so here is the result, and then here's before. Here's the after, here's the before. Now this is amazing. Look how look at the detail in the eyebrows. Before, after. Oh my god, that is incredible. And look, if you look at let's zoom into the eyelashes. Here's before, after. It just sharpens it so nicely. Oh my god, it is incredible. Oh, I love this. I love this technique. It works so good. Now, let's say you did it too much. Well, you could simply go to opacity and you could just lower the effect. And there you go. Now, you have lowered the effect of what you want. So 
or lower it down to 60%, whatever you want that fits for your photo. So let's go to the next photo and I will show you how easy this is to do on even landscapes too. So this is a photo I took a while ago and it is an amazing photo, but let's say you wanna sharpen it and you wanna do it really fast. Well, download the action in the description below upload it into Photoshop and this is how quick it is. All you do is click the background layer, go to the actions tab. And if you don't see this, go up into window and make sure actions is selected. Then select the exploring photography, vivid light sharpening, select the first action here and press play. And boom, done. It has now sharpened the image. Now let's say that you wanna adjust the blur. Well, you click the arrow, you come down to the Gaussian blur, blur here, double click on it and you can adjust the blur to exactly how you want it. Now that's way too overkill. So let's go back down to about 2.4, press okay, and collapse this box. And if we zoom in here, let's look at the branches here. So here's before, a little bit blurry, here's after. Just a shade sharper. Now let's go into, let's say them here. So here's before, here's after. Just a shade sharper. And that is all there is to it. This action is so fast, you can use on any of your images and you can adjust the opacity. Let's take this one step farther. Let's click the group, click the little mask button here, and then press Command or Control I with the mask selected. What this does is it inverts it. Click B on the keyboard for the brush tool. Make sure white and white is on the foreground here. And then just brush where you want the sharpening and you can just simply sharpen parts of your image here and leave the others less detailed. So look, so here I sharpened them, they have the sharpening, and the branches here have the sharpening, but if we go down to this nasty foreground, if you do the before and after, there's no change because we just sharpened the, the places that we wanted. This is such an unbelievable technique and it's super fast. And there you go. So I hope you greatly enjoyed this trick because this should answer all of those questions about how do you get super sharp photos. So there you go. If you liked the video, if this helped you out, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. But this is a crazy awesome technique and I will see you guys in the next video. It's good to see you again.